Welcome back, True Believers. This is Rakdar. In the last episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, I explored the town of Rogueport quite thoroughly because I was very curious what lurked all around. And in this episode, I have chased down and cornered this tiny beast that is a native of the woods that I am searching for, and I'm trying to find the pipe to get there. Guess again, nerd! This is probably- No, leave me alone! Uh, Mario, that was uncool. Don't say stuff like that. I thought you were nicer. Relax, relax, little guy. We're not bullies, I swear. For real? F Dude, Coops, you're blowing my cover. I'm a huge bully. Oh, the Boggly Woods. That's what the woods are called. Why are you down here? Well, what do you know about me? No, you must be- You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. No! x knots What the heck are those? Sounds like tissues to the extreme or something. x knot Is that what he was getting, making a joke? Uh, look, we're not here to- uh, We're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us wh wh what's going on, okay? Well, this gang of bad guys who called themselves the X-Knots came where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble, so I've come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in the great tree? If those guys are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the Crystal Star. Now that you mention it, they did say something about the Crystal Star thingy, but we punies didn't know anything about any cr uh, crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you, uh, the... What was it? The Crystal Star? If you do, we'll have the Poonie Elder give it to you. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the Elder will agree. So what do you say? Say yes, and hopefully the pipe will be right here and he will show us to it. Alright, um, I guess we should... I'd feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Or er, let's do it! Alright, Poonio. Oh, where... How am I gonna follow him? He's too small. Maybe I can get through this crack. Dude, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through this... Uh, I can't... Okay. Wait, hang on a second. Hopefully he is... Okay, I was like, hopefully he is aware of the fact that I am not able to fit through tiny friggin' little cracks in the ground. Can I go this way? I can go this way! Ha ha ha! Tricky dicks. Tricky Rick's fun bucks. You got a damage dodge. Decrease damage by one with guard action commit. Oh, so when you're guarding, you just... That is actually a great badge. Um, what do I have on right now? Oh my gosh! I am not even using all my damage points right now. Holy shit! What should I use the last... Okay. I guess I could use... Peril is not good. Let's do last stand P for now. Although Peril, I mean... If you, you, dude, you can do some sweet strats that involve, like, blocking and shit by doing some, like, crazy fucking peril strats. I was talking about it in the last episode. That's how they, like, beat Bowser without getting any extra HP in speedruns is because they're using insane peril strats where they, like, are using all kinds of crazy-ass blocking maneuvers and stuff just so once they get into peril, they can do a shit ton of damage but take very little damage. So, chapter two. Finally, the Great Boggly Tree. And wow, that little opening scene was, like, gorgeous. It was a cool little effect that they did. So the Boggly Woods, huh? It looks mysterious, all right? What do we run into next? Uh, all right, Punio, just so, okay. We should be able to see the great tree. The other and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too. Come on, let's go. Oh, my gosh. This place looks absolutely awesome. Like, seriously. I know this is just like GameCube graphics, but graphics don't matter. As I've said many times before, graphics don't even matter because if your shit's like stylized graphics, it's always gonna look cool as long as you're doing shit right. These are the guys that I gave funny, stupid voices to when I was in the X. Okay, a find that Mario can steal the map of the Crystal Stars. Well, they already know there's a Crystal Star here. Like, I feel like they already have some kind of sweet source of info on Crystal Stars. What's this? What's that you're frowning over there? Oh, oh, he, he said fawning. What do you mean, this? I found it near that tr tree over there a while back. It's a pearl necklace. Uh, that's a sex joke. Not really. Dude, I want that necklace. Picking up someone's scraps. Disgusting. Greedy. But enough about that, Vivian. My dear pack rat, bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that we got from Grotus. Eep, what? I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh for these guys. You wretched little worm blaming me for something you probably screwed up. Oh my gosh. Guys, 
look, if you remember the sketch at all, you'll know that Mario stands before your very eyes. What's that? A mustachioed fellow? So you save your games for later. All right. Um, now where was I? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost the precious sketch. So it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you did such impudence! How dare you talk to me about some rebellious, like some rebellious child? It's clear to me that your only rationale, your type, understands is force. Whoa! For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace. You just—how did you take it? And dude, this guy is a fucking misogynist. He's all like. The only- the only way this woman's gonna listen is if I beat her. That's basically what he just said. Alright, so we'll just walk past these guys. Wait, did that really work? I mean, is that- I don't even want to mess with them, because I know that they're out to get me- Oh, dude, oh. I'm- what the- There we go. I was like, I can hit this thing. I know for a solid back door that I can hit this thing. I think it's weird that the enemies out here are like black and white. And I have no idea. All right, it's time to find out. Um, I don't think I should be doing anything but hammer on this PD Piranha because if I remember correctly, even though it doesn't look like it's got stuff, I think it's got stuff. All right. Oh whoa! This 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 thing has reasonably high defense, and I missed my dodge. If I had gotten the nice dodge on that, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, wow. yeah, Mario doesn't even hurt this thing. Hmm. Alright. But if I had gotten the nice dodge, this thing would deal zero damage to me, so I gotta get the timing down. Oh, so it only has two health. It's one of those types of enemies where it's got really high... Um, it's got really high defense. Well, not really high. Enemies in the future will probably have higher defense, but... It's got high defense... ...and good dodge. Something... Oh, whoa! That was just like hiding in the bushes! What a little shithead! Even though that shithead was hiding in the bushes, he wasn't so tough, but check that out. I see an item here. I can't- damn it! Honey syrup restores 5 FP, makes allies gradually restore FP over a brief period. How brief? I don't want to get rid of Shroom Fry. Then I'm gonna get rid of Courage Shell. Probably the stupidest idea I've ever had was to get rid of Courage Shell. I feel like I should go back and interact with that group of dudes, but the game just let me walk right past them, so I feel like... It's one of those things where I'm curious that because the game allowed me to walk right past them, that maybe you don't have to talk to them. That's what I was- but they don't know what I look like anyway, like, they don't even know what Mario looks like, right? Of course, it's just a lot, uh, a lot of us in the tree, lots of jabbies and piters too. Well anyway, Mario, follow me! Oh, and I can use it like a pipe. I was like, how can I follow him, and what is this? In coupon! Yeah, you know what? In coupons are pretty cool, actually. They let you stay at the inn for free, obviously, but... Alright, I guess I should follow him into the tree. I'm still curious if I'm, like, missing out by not t going back and talking to those dudes. Oh, I can't get up over this way. No big nose for me. By the way, Coops... It's weird that Coops does not, like, follow me out here. And there goes my in coupon. No in coupon for me now. But inns are only, like, 5G, so it's, like... Of all the items I have, I feel like I wouldn't want to waste it on that if... Oh my gosh. This place has crazy ass music. Can I get up here? Oh, I can. And does it serve... But the real question is, does it serve a purpose getting up there? It appears as though the answer to that question is no, but there is! What is that back there? Is that a badge? Oh, it is! It's an FP plus! Oh, that is a great badge. That is an absolutely fantastic badge. All right, all badges. How much does it cost? Though? I bet it costs three. There's no way it's not gonna cost, uh... Wait, what's Happy Heart? Okay, I remember now. Oh, and I've got HP plus too. Fuck HP plus. We want FP plus. Oh, man. Now I've gotta take off. I've gotta wisely decide. Causes enemies to sometimes miss. Hmm. Multi- I'm gonna regret taking off multi-bounce, but... FP plus, man. And I've got power bounce on, so... I mean, multi-bounce is only really good when you're against a lot of Koopas. Like, if you're against groups of Koopas, multi-bounce is an awesome thing. And all the enemies out here seem to be spiked anyway, so... I can't jump on them no matter what. So for now, I mean, you can put badges back on, there's nothing stopping you. Take a look, this door wasn't here before, someone just installed it! 
And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh, Got it. Oh, he's got alternate plans. Maybe there's a back... Oh, this thing that I was trying to do earlier is actually a thing. All right. Long ago, the Poonie Elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. I can't get in through here. I'm completely sh or we can get in. The problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? Not to be a worry ward. How in the heck can we find somebody's secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh, let's see here. Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. Oh, she's a prostitute. The Elder says uh, she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of air with ease. Do you see where I'm going with this? She can use the wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Uh, let's head back in the direction we came from. Oh my gosh. This guy is really testing my patience. He's actually not. I mean, it's not his fault that they installed a door to keep him from... Oh, and that's where Madame Flory lives. She lives in the background. Building a house here is just the finest idea I did ever have. Oh my, yes. Wait. Oh, this place is so different from the blight flashbulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flory, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that I li that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll be akin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh boy, well, what's happening to speak? I am already feeling the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage of me. Surely, I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then. I shall rise again, but before I make my stage come back, I simply must whip my body and mind back into shape. I'll have to put on some makeup and my beauty is even more beautiful. Wait. Okay, Madame Flurry. No, it's gone. Uh-oh, she's been stolen. She's been robbed. I don't know why I said she's been stolen. That is not the proper word. Alright, so we know that Madame Flurry lives in the background and not in the foreground. So I guess that is a little bit of helpful information. Also, what is on the ground over there? Wait. If we head straight in this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. Oh, that's the same in coupon that I gave up on before. Dude, all these items are worth more than 5 GP, so I don't care about an in coupon. Maybe I should, but... Oh, there's a switch there. And there's also a star piece there, so I kind of want to... Oh! I saw you, you little shithead! Oh, there is a new enemy here, so I guess I'm going to show this battle... Oh, yep, that's not going to do any damage to him. Wait. Did some random shit just fall on that guy? Alright. Power bounce this thing. Here we go. Ugh! 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 Uh, damn it, I didn't do enough. Well, I did enough to kill him, obviously. And I guess we're not even going to get to see any moves from that guy because... I was too awesome and I was able to destroy him with my niceness. Alright, here we go. We're going to get... Okay, I missed it. I was actually... I hit B that time instead of... Uh, I hit B instead of the other button because I sort of wanted to see if I could do a reversal, but I fucked it up. Reversals, I've yet to do one, but that was the first time I've actually ever decided to hit B, so I don't feel like I'm doing too terrible. Oh, it's so there's another one of them clouds. Can I go through here? Is this a pipe? Oh, it totally is. Oh my gosh, and there's a... Can I jump this way? I cannot. Okay. No, no! No! I want you to... Mario. I want you to go down as in... This way, there we go. Cool. Dude, I'm really close to the ground. I feel like wh wherever I'm supposed to be heading right now, I gotta do some pretty fancy hovering to get there. Alright, so as you come over this way, there's like a little path that runs... Oh, okay, it runs through back here. I was like, where does it go to? But now I understand. But I don't know... Oh, look at that! I did it again where I'm just like... I swear, sometimes I'm just like running and I'm just rando jumping while I run. And then the switch will... Oh, and the switch will raise... Ah! Ha-ha! And that explains... I was like... I was wondering. I was like in the middle of bemusing. I was like, how will that 
paper airplane square ever take me anywhere? I was like, it's just, it just ain't possible. But by the way, check that out. They tricky, they hide it from you all tricky style, but it's really, I mean, realistically, it's not that tricky, but they are trying to be a little bit tricky, and I figured out their tricky games. And now I was able to fly over here. Let's see what we got. Oh, no. okay. I thought that was going to fall off the edge. Slightly damaged. Oh, Quake Hammer. I love that move. If it's anything like it has been in previous game, Quake Hammer is a move that I quite appreciate. Oh, check it out. There's, I was about to say, there is her house. It is lodged there in the background, just like it was supposed to be. But I suppose I will spend the seven coinage cost to get through. Is there a star piece? Oh, no. Whoa, but it's a volt shroom. That does damage. God damn it. I've got too much shit. I should find out what my mystery is someday. All right, let's toss the volt shroom. No, I want the volt shroom. Items that do damage are awesome. I can probably go without a slow shroom. Probably not a good idea to ever throw away healing items. I should really... Oh, there's... there's I was like, there's gotta be a star piece. They're so, like, the, the star pieces, they're not predictable, but they're just kind of, like, always nudged away in these little... Oh, did I seriously just fall there? Did I seriously... Guys, this is some tough platforming right here. Like, it's super challenging, and the reason I can't do it is because the platforming is so super challenging. All right, excuse me. Oh. Um, maybe she's in here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Well, maybe she went for a save here where I accidentally instantly switched to no. Alright, so maybe she went for a walk in the woods. I highly doubt it. Because... Wait, Madame Fleury? If you're here, say something. Oh, eek! No, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Uh-oh. Oh, Madame Fleury, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment, those darling squishing little footsteps, is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been ages since I saw you last, you poor dear, is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that you can help us with, madame. Ma'am, the great tree's entry hole is blocked. There's this stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs the crystal stars. It's train wreck, really. If you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dear? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Punio. I know, you know I would do anything in my power to help you, however, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself, I just cannot come out. Gee, something wrong. Well, dude, oh, her neck, I, oh my gosh, this is horrible. You know, the people, oh my gosh, the necklace is in the possession of those dudes. This is where the game punishes me for not talking to those dudes. <laughs> Alright. Great, it's decided, then let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you, Zoo. Oh my gosh, now I'm wondering if I had fought those guys at the beginning of the forest, like, or if I had talked to them, would it have given me the option to try and get the necklace back, or would it not have? Like, that's what I'm wondering, is if I missed my chance by fucking around. Blaming me for using this sketch, you had it! Silence, you twitch, now's the time to get uh, hung up on stupid details, we must Study the sketch. Oh, and now they know what I look like. This Mario guy looks manly. Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though, my lovelies? I think if I had talked to them my first time going past, all that would have happened is they would have been like, Who the hell are you? And that would have been, like, the end of it, so... I really don't think that I would have been given the opportunity to get the necklace and then speed things up, but maybe that's the case. There will be no way of knowing, because that's not how I did it. I was thinking of returning, uh, it to you, but no more. Alright, well, let's see, you figure this is Mario Chump. So I guess, do I have to go back to that part of the forest and battle them? The answer is possibly yes. I am going to cut back there. If anything happens on the way, I will uncut. Alright, I am back to these guys. Nothing happened along the way, as you can imagine, because I made it back with no trouble. Although, all the enemies did respawn, so I had to dodge them on the way back. But now I'm here, and these guys finally know what Mario looks like. They let me pass before, but now I'm probably going to have to do some sort of minor boss battle. Let's do it, you sons of bitches. It's time to wreck your faces off with magic that is magic. 
Am I gonna have to- The three shadow beauties! The three shadow beauties? More like shadow duties. What are you, OC? What are you bothering about? It's shadow sirens! I don't see these three beauties, I see two, but then there's you and your pug ugly. Oh, what? She's not nice at all. You know, I didn't think any of them were women except for the one with the hair sticking out, but now I guess I know that they're all women and I guess I should have known by their names, Marilyn, Vivian, and whatever the third one is. I mean, of course they're all women. Well, whatever. Now it's battle time! Look at this! They ran at me from the other side, but because of the way the game works, they're always gonna be on that side. It's most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. You know, right now... Yes, sis. Right now, I am kind of wishing I had multi-bounce, but only because... I don't know, maybe I don't... Maybe it doesn't even matter if I had multi-bounce or not. Either way... We're just going to power smash. Oh. oh yeah, get the sweets. Oh dude, look at that. It did so much damage to you. And we get random free shit falling out of the tree. Uh, shit falling out of the tree damage. But I'm gonna power shell. And that should rock their world. I think, by the way, I have gotten one. What are you doing, Vivian? You twitch. I'll never forgive you if you lose. Sorry, sis. Oh. How was I supposed to fucking... Oh, I'm trying to get the nices on these, but their moves are quite... Here we go. There we go. I was like, after the first one did it, I sort of got the timing down better. <laughs> Alright, power smash, bitch! I'm going to destroy you! Is she dead yet? Sorry, sis! Yep, okay. Oh, and I get... Come on! I want flower points. Dude, I think sometimes the game is programmed to automatically big no you, no matter what. Because sometimes, like, I feel like during boss fights, the game just gives you big no's, but I don't know that for a fact. But anyways, power shell the shit. I've got plenty of flower points to destroy you. Did I do it? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, see, what I was saying earlier was that I think if you do that on the first time it runs through the meter, um, I was going to say, I think that what happens is... The game. Oh, damn it! I tried to dodge that, but oh, oh my gosh! How do I? Oh my gosh! However, do I dodge that? I feel like these—they're almost down, but I'm gonna use sweet treat just in case. And oh, I keep on trying to say. I thought that the timing on. Ugh! There was like a poison one right in my way. Ugh! Get Mario ones. Get Mario ones. Ugh! Get. There we go. Dude, I feel like rapid firing is sometimes just my best course of action during that, but whatever. So, timing. I keep on trying to say it, and I keep on failing miserably at talking about my timing theory here. Is that I thought that maybe if you got this the first time the meter fills up, that it would give you, like, a stylish, but apparently, as you can see, it, that might not be the case. What? She's still alive. I guess she's like the fattest, so she probably has the most health. All right, this is it. I'm just gonna power bounce for the win. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I knew I was bound to mess up eventually, but it didn't even matter. I think we just got so many. What? Three short of a level. Too bad I didn't fight any enemies on the way back. All right, maybe we we're just a little touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, Lulu Lumps, wouldn't you? Uh, t it wouldn't- we would've won a few to it. Pulled your weight, better prepare for a world-class punishment session. Ooh, that sounds hot. Three sisters have a world-class punishment session. Alright, they should- oh. Dicks! Dick- dick and pissin' balls. I was about to say they should just warp me back to Flurry's place, but I suppose I will have to run there all by my lonesome. Okay, look at how well I did on that. That was just me rapid firing the whole time. So I honestly think that rapid firing is probably the best strategy when you're fucking doing sweet streets and then just you rapid fire until you see a poison mushroom on the screen. But by the way, I also was gonna show this just because I just leveled up and I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but HP, 
we're not going for it. We're going for badge points, because I've already got a badge that increases my flower points and my HP. Wait, what just happened? There was like a dude waiting right outside of the battle. That's annoying. It doesn't matter. I leveled up, so I've got full health and shit. All right, I have returned to Madame Flurry's. I've returned to Madame Furry, but her name is actually Flurry. With necklace of pearls, or at least it looks like it, it looks like it's just made of rocks, actually. I should be able to smash this. Uh, but with the necklace in tow, and I use it to unlock the door because it's a lock. Oh, we're gonna get to see her without the necklace. Oh, nope, she's not having none of that shit. Splendid! Oh. The fuck is about to happen. Okay, we're at the discotheque. We at the disco! We at the discotheque! Oh, gosh. I forgot. I have seen the design of this character before. I forgot how much I think the design of this character is fucking weird. Like, she's got such a strange design. Alright. She's obviously a ghost with weird-ass lips and spread-out tits and... And Mario's just like, I don't want any of this. Mario will have none of it. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Mario. So obviously her move is that she can make things pass out by kissing them. No, that's not obviously her move, but right, whatever. Are you truly looking for the very same crystal star spoken of by all the low, low lives in Rogueport? A danger-filled search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. All right, hustle and bustle, join my team. And besides, I do declare that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Heart. He's a fucking... I don't know about this. Flurry joined your party. What are her powers? I assume she has similar powers to Boo. Or to Bow. To Bow. To Lil Bow Wow. A primer. Press X and Flurry will exhale strong gusts of wind that can blow things away. If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Hold down X to make Flurry exhale continuously. Oh my gosh, she's got crazy abilities. Alright. Oh, the game is wanting me to do it. I see. She can also do a body slam in battle, squashing enemies with her stage presence. That's a nice way of saying fat. Alright, I should just tell people I've got a lot of stage presence. Alright, Gale Force attack to blow enemies away. And that seems to be the gist of Flurry. This is wonderful, it's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's get to the great tree. Alright, so she's got that. And then if I just... I thought if I just hit X, something happens. It looks like she just kisses the air in front of me if I just hit X. That is, I can do that, which is really weird. Oh uh, yeah. Well, anyways, in the next episode, Madame Flurry is going to be making out with this wall. No, I'm going to go to the great tree, try and blow away whatever is in my way so I can get into that dough. This has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.